I've had it. Enough. You know what? That Cardi B this, Cardi B that, and yeah, 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 because you are the hate and hope in the back. Now, before we get into that, babes, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Everything we say here is allegedly and for entertainment purposes solely. So sit back, relax, sip you some apple juice or my fave, the vegan water, and let's get into the mess, shall we? go cardi b doing what she does best throwing rocks then hiding her hands what made her at the crack of dawn share katie's ex-girlfriend on her instagram to her millions of followers with this song from almost four days ago girl you really get on my nerves now if nikki ever did this she would be in her fields she would have an emotional breakdown and then she would talk about how she was being bullied and it just kills me because y'all swear put down it's nikki when it's really cardi cardi just she swears she doesn't get flowers, she doesn't get accolades, nobody likes her. But let's listen to this clip from Little Kim. Let me get in there, Cardi's on. Yeah, Cardi, Cardi is like the love of my life. Y'all don't even know, <laughs> like, <laughs> she makes me laugh. Y'all don't know, we talk a lot, okay. people have no idea. But like, she's my little sister, but she's really my big little sister. Like, no, it's, it's facts. Cause okay. she, she, like, believe it or not, she directs me on a lot of things like, no, this is what I want you to do. <laughs> and I'll be like, but why? Imagine me is so ungrateful at all the praise and accolades you get on a daily basis from hip hop pioneers to the point where you're blindsided by rage because one woman does not fuck with you and she said to the world she doesn't fuck with you. Imagine that. That is crazy. That is an obsession and you need to get that checked. But I'm not a licensed clinical psychiatrist, so it is what it is. Just like your sister is deranged too. What was her reason for adding Raw Lee talking about my name is sexy, all the niggas love hearing my name Hennessy, all the girls love hearing my name Hennessy, and she has to pay for bitches and all this other stuff? What was that about? Where did that come from? How come your sister's inserting herself in the beef when we know she can't fight? We've seen her and you both fight. Like, since I've been on the internet and since you've been on the scene, I've seen you get washed several times. You have no hands. This is why you send a niggas to fight the girls. And I don't like that for you. I don't like that for you. And what I really don't like for you is you coming at Malibu Mitch with this hostile energy because you don't know how to get off the internet and go be a wife, mother, and Grammy award winning superstar like you claim to be. That's, I said claim because it's given fallen star, but I don't know. So Malibu Mitch put... Well, one of the girls hit her and said, they said that she's targeting everybody on Queen Mix. Malibu, saddle up, baby. You next. And she said, LOL, not saddle up. Imagine me being the retired gangsta I am saying, oh, no, someone talked about me. Now I have to go lay down a hot 16. Or, oh, no, I was mentioned today. Let me go tweet my response, laughing my ass off. Nah, nigga. Now one of us got to die. You know, I'm from the Bronx, right? So then Cardi, put, Cardi B retweets it and puts laughing my ass off. Then she said, screenshotting this before they say it's fake. Because this is this shit is getting weird and out of nowhere, not going to lie. Now my next question is who's dying? Why would you even retweet this? So then Malibu hit her with some real ish. We can link in real life. And then it went from that to this. I'm out with Akbar and Katie got bands, right? I don't want to be in nobody's fucking drama. I also got a song coming out with Asian Doll and Susu G's. I don't want to be in nobody's fucking drama. So everything that I wrote was for, in general, for anybody. Like, I just got off a, uh, a bitch just got out of the hospital last night, bro. I'm on fucking bed rest. I wrote that shit for any fucking body, any fucking body. But long and behold... The, the bitch that pl stay, stay playing fucking victim is going to retweet it just to get some little fucking corny sympathy shit. 
if you a gangster, be a fucking gangster, bro. That's it. At the end of the day, be a fucking gangster. Don't do all that sympathy shit like, oh, look, look, and she's the messy one. She's the problem, bro. My shit was in fucking general, in general for anybody. I don't give a fuck who it is. I'm not off the shady shit, no, none of that. So if anybody want to link, we can link. That's why I add her. That shit was not for nobody specific. That was in general. Like I said, I got a song coming out with, coming out with Akbar. I got a song coming out with Katie Got Bands and fucking um, Akbar. They beefing with whoever the fuck they beefing with. I got a, also got a song coming out with 22Gs and Asian. It was for everybody. Don't nobody talk about me on this internet. Get on this fucking internet and talk about me or sub me or do any of that. Because bitches be so quick to get on this internet shit and sub niggas. I'm not with none of that. So yeah, I had to create this little this little joint, whatever this shit is called, to say that. But long and behold, bitches be watching bitches Twitter for days on end, days on end, to see who's gonna say something and who's not gonna say nothing. Bitch, nobody was nobody's fucking worried about you. Nobody I will never be fucking worried about a bitch like you. N not ever, bro. Not ever. So yeah, send that to your maker. Send this to your fucking maker. Cause I said that, then I just say the tweet, I posted the tweet and I'm like, don't let, nobody let y'all little fan bases, fan pages get y'all fucked up. And guess what? She did exactly that. Let her little fan pages get her fucked up. So there you go with it. That, go with it. That, this is all I gotta say. This is all I ever had to say. I'm not with this internet shit. Bitches can link up in real life. That's it. We don't gotta do the back and forth. We can link up in real life. That's it. This shit could be off the internet in real life. Like, in real life. <laughs> Bitches is fighting real cases in real life. So, in real life, we could that link up. No internet shit, no none of that. That's what I'm with. That's the type of time that I'm on. That's the time, type of time I've been on. So, what's up? That's it. Send this to your makeup. Like I said. Go with it. See, and there you have it. Like, again, isn't this woman on probation or parole or something? How does she have the time to get into all this internet beef? Where is the district attorney at? Because this has to be breaking the law somehow. I'm a law-abiding citizen. So, you know, I just feel like cardi needs to adhold to what she signed up for like either be a gangster or be a victim but you can't be both but those are just my thoughts on it um my final opinion is leave anika tanya mirage petty out of the bs because she knows how to write a diss track whether you like her or not and the real issue is cardi won't at Nicki minaj she's going all the way around and up through the mary bush and instead of just using the ad and saying girl i don't like you and let's throw hands or let's get in the booth or something because we know she needs it i mean what tour is she on what festival is she at what cd is she selling you know the hottest thing she has going right now is Glorilla's song. And she literally took the shine from that. But those are just my thoughts, babes. Those are just my opinions. I never knew the Grammy girls to act like this. And on this note, comment down below. I gotta go. Bye, hoes.